What's up, everybody? I wanted to share this new use case uh, for the uh, end user data sources new feature that has just came out. So this is going to be a press release generator. So typically, you can already create a press release generator without using data sources. You can just tell the prompt to basically um, create a press release article. But what's special about this one is if you go to the front end view of the tool, we're asking who the press release is for, what do you want the press release to be about, who do you want the author to be? And then now you have this option to allow your user to upload uh, relevant data that you want the press release to be about. So in this case, I have this uh, invasive, invasive species PDF from the University of Georgia, and I already have it saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and preview the tool here. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna walk through the prompt on what it is on the back end, but I'm just going to go ahead and put in an example of what this tool is going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the example that I have in the placeholder here. I'm going to tell it that I want a press release about the dangers of invasive species you can introduce while gardening um, in the state of Georgia. Now, I don't think OpenAI is going to have this type of specialized knowledge. So we go here, we'll see that we have very specific uh, numbers and figures and the origin of these invasive species um, and, you know, the extent and so on, prevention policies uh, and so forth. So I'm going to basically say uh, I want this article to be attributed to Ranger Bob of uh, LJ Georgia. And we're going to go ahead and upload a data source. So we're going to go, I have it here already in my desktop. So I'm going to upload the PDF, and then what that's going to do, it's going to upload the file. So it's going to use the file, and it's going to inject it into the backend prompt. Now, before I hit generate, I'm going to show you what the backend prompt looks like. So basically, I have it. I added the data source in the front end data source. I bumped up the tokens, and then I basically uh, set up the prompt just like I would a regular tool. I need a press release article written for who, this is a topic, and this is who I want the article attributed for. I'm using the 16K, that way I can bump up those tokens and I can give those, uh, you know, the uh, the data source, the, the, the necessary tokens to produce something extremely unique and robust based on the data source that I gave it, because this is accurate information. Uh, it has references, so I can trust this piece of data. So if it references it, it's going to give me a quality output. So let's go ahead and test our tool. So we're going to hit generate. And this is going to spit out a tool. And we're going to, as soon as it spits out the response, we're going to compare it. Uh, the the uh, We're going to compare the figures in the output with the data that is in the PDF. So let's check this out. Okay, so here is a press release, Ranger Bob, obviously made a fake email, Ranger Bob of LJ, perfect. Um, yeah, advocate, okay, the cost for controlling of a species, it says 137 billion annually in the US. If we go into the data source, it did reference that correctly. Um, and you don't know, kudzu, Chinese privet, Asian tiger mosquito, fire ant, so these are all species that are listed in here as well. So yeah, it looks like it is using that pretty accurately. So again, had I given the prompt to OpenAI, I'm sure OpenAI has some type of knowledge on invasive species, but it's not going to be to this extent. Um, and it can also make stuff up if it does not know because these GPT engines do have that creative ability. So I guess I wanna show this, this to you guys. Um, again, look, it even referenced some of the uh, references in here. Uh, right there. So again, this is a great example of using the end user data sources, which is now available inside of the form builder right here, user data sources. So again, uh, you'll also be able to combine both the uh, back end data sources and front end if you were building a bespoke robust tool for a specific use case or a specific client, uh, you know, you, you will still be able to combine both of them if needed, if there's something your client may not have, uh, or if it's gonna reference something only, you, you know, your data piece has. Um, but awesome guys, yeah, just, just wanted to go over that with you guys. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, just let us know in the Facebook group. We're looking forward to sharing this feature with everybody.